Our webinar today is entitled Fundamentals of SAP Portfolio and Project Management 5.0 and jointly sponsored by SAP. We will discuss SAP's PPM 5.0 solution released this year and an overview of PPM implementation. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President of LeverX, and I will be our webinar moderator today. Before I turn the time over to our presenters, let me introduce you to LeverX. LeverX is a SAP services partner, an associate member of the PLM Alliance, a Google Enterprise partner, and also a SAP business object solution provider. LeverX assists companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. We deliver functional, strategic, technical services in the areas of product lifecycle management, portfolio and project management, and related solutions. We provide process, business process and strategic consulting, solution architecture services, implementation planning and execution, custom development, application support, and near and offshore services. In addition, we provide an SAP NetWeaver, Workflow, BI, uh, business objects, as well as SAP mobile applications development and Google Apps integrated with SAP. This webinar is being recorded and SAP customers attending will receive a follow-up email in a few days with a link to download the presentation materials and a recording of this webinar. We are pleased to introduce our presenters for today's webinar. Our first speaker will be Ian Strain, Senior Director, PLM Solution Principal from SAP. Ian will be followed by Parag Yoshi, the Vice President of Consulting at LeverX. Our webinar agenda will proceed as outlined. First, Ian will present Enterprise Project and Portfolio Management, a perspective from SAP. And Ian will then be followed by Parag Josi, who will present an overview of a PPM project. Very good. So now we'll turn the time over to you, Ian. Thank you, Alan. Can everybody um, see my screen on your end, Alan? Yes, we can see your screen and we can hear you fine. Thank you. Perfect. Please go ahead, Ian. Thank you. Uh, welcome, everybody. As uh, Alan said, um, I'm going to be covering some uh, fundamentals of uh, SAP's portfolio and project management uh, solution. Uh, begin by uh, talking about some trends and drivers that are um, expanding really uh, people's view of um, portfolio management um, really at the enterprise level. Um, also talk a little bit about future directions and also what uh, customers are currently um, saying about the solution since it uh, was uh, launched. Uh, my role at SAP is as a solution principal within our center of excellence. My particular specialization is within the uh, portfolio and project management uh, ecosystem space. Really just want to kick off by uh, setting the scene um, regarding what we're seeing uh, within SAP from our customers and other organizations that are looking to uh, move into the uh, PPM uh, arena. And I'll start off really by saying, you know, making what is a statement maybe of the obvious, but uh, pretty well every corporation in North America is currently executing projects in one form or another in pursuit of strategies and, and business objectives. Now, why that is a statement of the obvious is that, you know, almost if you have, you know, two or more people collaborating in some way to uh, in pursuit of uh, an objective and it's going to take them tasks and activities to, to do that they by definition are, are in the process of executing uh, a project now some of those projects are done uh, in a very formal way using structured methodologies and uh, possibly uh, automated tools and others could literally be you know working off the back of an envelope uh, or sending each other emails now really uh, what we're seeing um, pretty well in all sectors uh, today is that organizations that have maybe done less collaborative forms of um, project management, project execution, are beginning to uh, tie together the different parts 
of that ecosystem and looking for more automated processes, um, bringing together processes, people, um, technology, um, relationships with uh, possibly um, suppliers, with consultants, etc. but really bringing all of those components, integrating them together into a whole. Um, some of the um, aspects of this maturing process that we're seeing is uh, corporations are um, handling this organizationally as well, creating um, organizations such as a program management office or a project management office. Sometimes it manifests itself in a way of uh, business process improvement organizations that go across siloed um, boundaries uh, within the organization to look at um, improvements um, within and across organizations. And what we typically uh, look at in terms of where people are starting to look at uh, more automation uh, beyond just, say, project management, project execution, but elevating that up to the portfolio level is around about this uh, level two, level three uh, within uh, Gartner's maturity model. And you probably many of you have seen uh, various forms of this uh, maturity uh, model. This one happens to be Gartner Project Management Institute have theirs. But typically we find um, the start point for people taking a serious look at the portfolio level, enterprise um, portfolio management is in that kind of developing and defined uh, progression areas within the maturity model. And that's um, what I'll be kind of covering off um, during uh, my presentation today, is some of those elements of integrating you know, people, processes, technology, etc., um, under the banner of PPM. 